Hello everyone. In our last video tutorials, we have discussed about uh, pods like sorcery. Uh, what are the use cases of sorcery? How ca how can we generate uh, 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 auto mocks and auto stubs based on the stances stances that we provide? So using this, uh, we were able to provide a uh, uh, couple of mocks and stubs for the uh, test uh, uh, test classes and protocols which we have taken. So in this tutorial, let's see uh, a pod called uh, Quick and Nimble. Uh, so basically the uh, basically quick and nimble comes into picture uh, just to write our uh, uh, test cases in a human is more uh, uh, friendly readable and descriptive language actually so if we get into the details if you can see for example if we need to write any test cases usually we do uh, so for example we had a uh, model called product uh, so for, for for which we have done auto mockable uh, so and we we have a model called offer where we, we can do this or we can also write the write using the stubs either this or uh, I can go ahead and write a stub a stub for it or just a second let me see why it is not coming offer dot stub must be there I don't know okay offer dot stub so if i go to sorcery this and i can go here and write offer dot so okay this is not accessible here okay generally uh, generally we write uh, uh, test cases using the xc test uh, case framework uh, XE test case framework. So if you can see XE test case framework, we go and uh, there, there is something called XCT asset we use, and uh, there is something called tear down uh, before uh, before we, uh, we we give some initial values and also we give some we tear down them. So this is the usual XE test case which we don't need to discuss much about it. So whereas in the case of uh, uh, whereas in the case of quick. I think we can quickly uh, we can we can simply write uh, test cases in a uh, descriptive format. So it is like uh, Quick is a behavior-driven development framework for Swift and Object C, inspired by R spec, Spectre, and Jinko. So in this, how we write is we write like this. There will be describe and you know, within it we write it and within it we have context and uh, we'll discuss. Uh, since it is Quick, uh, there is a uh, in, uh, there is something called so this is how we write the specification so we import quick and nimble so everything comes from the quick spec as the uh, base so which is nothing but in a way extends from xc test case only so it is quick uh, quick spec like in our xc test we have this uh, uh, we need to override this function whatever we write into this function is uh, nothing but we are going to validate and this, what is this describe context what is this before each after each what is this context it, it, it is nothing but uh, i'm just segregating since it is a behavior driven development uh, quick can be used for swift and objective c uh, that in tandem this is in tandem with xc XC test the built uh, built-in test uh, testing framework in X, uh, in Xcode which we have just seen uh, the base is XC test case okay it provides a more descriptive and readable syntax for writing the test cases if you can see uh, we have describe uh, describe uh, is used generally to group uh, group of related uh, uh, test uh, test and provide a high level description of the behavior being tested it helps to organize our test in a hierarchical manner so for example uh, let me say uh, describe this is how i write my unit test cases so uh, context i'll explain what is context and uh, it's just a way of segregation for example uh, in the describe i'll say like uh, user attempt user uh, attempted login let's say so this i want to uh, categorize and okay context uh, user okay login login log login successful then i'll hit a couple of test cases uh, then i read a couple of test cases here like uh, this is my describe at very high level within which also i can again again write context if login is successful if i have to validate something for example this is my uh, scenario one uh, test one also if login is successful whether uh, if login is successful the username should be saved to the uh, uh, save credit save username to keychain whether whether the keychain is getting saved or not is a test case okay if login is successful 
show dashboard whether dashboard is getting showed or not is another test case so like that if login is failed this is just the categorization login failed okay now we need to say show alert to the whether we are showing alert to the user or not since login is failed uh, of course there will be many test cases where we display that this and all so this is just the segregation of uh, uh, test cases and like uh, our tear down and stuff in exit test framework what what is this is before each and after each after each and each and every test case that executes this before each and after each will be called here we can add our own uh, set of uh, uh, models we can create for those uh, test cases and in after each we can simply make them nil this is very pretty much straightforward whereas if you go to exe test also if i am going to quick spec if you go to exe test case also uh, this is what uh, tear down correct this is what uh, we add it as we add tear downs and we set up set up and tear down is nothing but after so this is nothing but this i'm just adding here just for our quick understanding this setup is nothing but before each tear down is nothing but after each and the same i can write it in the context as well so for example within this context i need to make some test cases so here also i can write before each and after each this is just uh, grouping the related tasks uh, to provide a high level description the behavior describe is used and the context is used further uh, further to organize the test within a described block it is often used to specify a particular scenario or state that you want to test this helps in making your test episode more expressive and readable so we can write test cases using exit test case also but this makes our uh, it is often used to specify a particular scenario or state that uh, we want to study this makes it more uh, expressive and readable uh, so pretty much uh, let's let me remove this so that is the advantage of it I, I think we can go to the we can try this out the pod and try to write some test cases and we can all execute it here like this so this is just an example where we can uh, segregate our stuff and uh, it it is nothing but uh, the test cases directly uh, inside the it what we what we are writing is describe this context within the context it has to do this something like this okay so that is what they are writing it here uh, quick comes together with maybe a match a framework for your test you can you can learn why XE asset statement make your expectation so nimbles comes with a matcher uh, frameworks as you can see expect dot is equal to john for example if you can quickly go to number uh, quick and num nimble comes as both as one so nimble to express the expected outcomes of swift or object history expressions impra it is inspired by cedar so we can simply write like in XE test cases we usually write like this XE asset equal is XE asset to XE asset uh, falls something like this so we can use XE asset right so what is the purpose of using nimble which provides us this these things expect so on so is equal to this expect so on so not equal to nil expect so on so is equal to so like that there are so many if you can see expect uh, to equal to expect to uh, expect greater than expect to contain this expect to not contain this expect expect to eventually be true this is these are all uh, you know what is the advantage of this having uh, over is uh, so he, here it is I think very clearly explained uh, by giving like why why I have to use nimble why 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 I need to use this expect this that and all so clear a test using nimble assertions when code doesn't work the way it is supposed to be unit should make it clear ex exactly what's wrong yes for example he has taken that uh, there are silliest monkeys and monkeys dot filter whether it is having or not so if you write xc asset what happens if it is failing it is just as xc asset true failed it will not say why it is failed but if you have to if if we want to uh, know these things i think we need to write it in the xcs true contains comma this is one but we have to write our own failure messages manually providing xcs failure messages whereas if it is if you write uh, using the trick like describe context and it in this format and if you can use this expect expect stuff using the number uh, now if for example let's say if so any test case fails it says it's a failed expected to contain this got this it takes care of you giving an 
uh, giving you a message where it is going wrong and also you don't need to explicitly write anything we don't have to write our own our own failure messages the one provided by nimble is already very readable okay so for example as you can see uh, product default mock it is nothing but product product is described default underscore mock default underscore mock is context initialization in the initialization test case was expected to be nil but it got an object actually see it is clearly saying but if you can see i have not written any i have not written nothing here no error messages nothing nothing i have written but it is giving me a clear saying that boss this is what you are expecting and this is taken care by nimble correct it's it's very it's very useful that's why clear test using nimble sessions nimble that's why it's uh, nimble sessions provide uh, as clear and uh, uh, clear explanation explanation if this goes wrong if test cases fail whereas if it is with with exit test uh, exit test case we need to write a manual message in the exit sessions exit sessions sorry so that's where nimble and quick help us in writing a more uh, uh, detailed and uh, uh, you know expressive and readable test cases and also having uh, these sessions then quick so what uh, what i can do uh, th this is expected to be false okay this is false i can write like this and this is happen and this is this is not null so if i do it and if i run it again running it is same as this and inside this we can use our uh, for example if product inside which if you want you can use your offer offer mock or anything uh, if i have to use uh, for example offer dot so see i have used it offer dot stuff so in this in this way uh, i think there are uh, pretty much uh, this uh, i'm going to provide all these things in the description these these are going to explain a lot about uh, uh, quick and nimble uh, which we can explore a lot and go deep dive and see what and all it is providing and how what are the swift versions that you need to know to maintain this and how we can use this in the dependencies or as a pod how can we install it and how can we write different different test cases so good documentation is there uh, how can i write and uh, it is having different different if for example a synchronous operation how can we validate using the quick and uh, what is more resources what is shared example uh, sharing data maybe in the test cases of course i didn't get a ch much chance to explore much into it but i've just gone through the basics which are needed to write basic test cases using the quick so this is a pretty good uh, uh, bunch of parts that we can bunch of frameworks that we can utilize to make our unit test cases very simple i don't need to write tons of uh, uh, my own uh, message is saying why this test case is failing and all but uh, looking at this it is as you can see it is if you if you see this if i write my test cases like this then it is easy to understand also saying that okay uh, i think this is when user attempted login if login is successful login is failed these are the test cases so it's it's, it's very uh, segregated very readable very uh, uh, more, more expressive it's more expressive and more readable so this is how i i have taken those parts just qua, uh, pod quick pod nimble that's it it gives us all the things necessary and uh, all you can do is if you for example if you have a view controller model or view model anything you want you create a spec spec is the kind of uh, of course this spec you can move it to this test if you want and uh, this comes from quick quick spec uh, quick spec uh, again it is from xc test cases exit test case uh, then you need to overwrite spec whatever you write it in the spec that gets that uh, that will get executed when you write uh, when you try to write the uh, run the test correct uh, yeah pretty much if you can see in nimble also i think uh, different different you can try to not to not to uh, to to with the description of course you can again if you if you don't like the description that uh, nimble is giving of course you can do that there is no uh, this type safety operator overloads are there uh, nimble expectations using expected to lazily computed the values we can use uh, c primitives async await operations how can i write the test cases using the uh, quick and nimble stuff so lot to explore but yeah i just explained the basics that we needed a simple scenario simple test cases okay so i hope this post is useful 
Uh, I think we have gone through pretty much good amount of pots like sorcery for uh, this is all related to this complete uh, 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 series of tutorials starting with the sorcery uh, actually sorry starting with uh, explaining what is mock what is stub and uh, how can we write mocks and uh, stubs manually and how can we uh, write them easily by using stencil templates using the sorcery uh, uh, pod or framework is something we, we we were able to quickly generate the mocks and stubbable and after that using them in the test cases okay for writing the test cases also why not make them simple using the quick and nimble we are able to write the test cases in a more uh, expressive way and also we can write uh, using the nimble the sessions with uh, with very less amount of code we don't need to write manually the messages so that's uh, these are the benefits of these pods so i hope this series and these posts are useful thank you so much